Olama is an open source platform revolutionizing how we interact with large language models, LLMs. Imagine running powerful LLMs right on your own computer without relying on cloud services. Olama makes this possible by packaging everything you need, model weights, configurations, and dependencies into a user-friendly environment. A key innovation is Olama's support for structured outputs. This means you can tell the model to provide responses in a specific format, like JSON, making it much easier to use the output in applications and workflows. This is incredibly useful for tasks like extracting data from documents, analyzing images, and ensuring consistency across all LLM interactions. Olama even goes beyond basic JSON mode, offering enhanced reliability and consistency for structured data. And to make development even smoother, they've updated their Python and JavaScript libraries to seamlessly integrate this new functionality. To demonstrate the power of Olama's structured outputs, we'll rapidly develop a Next.js application that leverages open source AI models. Imagine a dynamic dashboard that responds in real time, visualizing AI-generated insights in charts and tables. We'll begin by exploring text prompts and then move on to processing invoices with a vision model, all within this interactive application. We chose Next.js for its powerful capabilities in building both client-side and server-side rendered applications. The Olama AI architecture diagram illustrates a comprehensive three-tier system built on Next.js and modern AI models. At its core, the system consists of a Next.js front-end handling user interactions through a chat interface, a Next.js API layer managing request processing and routing, and an Olama backend powered by two key AI models, Mistral for general tasks and Llama 3.2 Vision for multimodal capabilities text, and images. The data flow follows a clear path. User requests from the front end are sent through API routes to the Olama backend, where the selected AI model processes the information and returns structured JSON responses. The system supports text generation, image understanding, and structured output formatting, with built-in extensibility for future model additions making it a flexible and scalable solution for AI-powered applications. Let's get started. Our first step is to install the latest version of Olama, ensuring we have access to all the newest features and structured outputs. Once Olama is set up, we'll acquire two powerful language models, Mistral, known for its impressive performance, and Llama 3.2 Vision, which can process both text and images. With these models, we will build our app. Before we begin, make sure you have the latest version of Node.js installed. Then we'll launch VS Code and create a new next.js app using the terminal. To create a next.js app, open your terminal, cd into the directory you'd like to create the app in, and run the following command. Once all dependencies are installed, our setup is complete. This code defines an API endpoint that uses the Olama AI model to generate a list of countries. It employs Zod schemas, country info schema, and country list schema to strictly define the structure of both individual country data, such as name, capital, languages, GDP, and the overall list of countries. The API receives instructions in the form of messages sends them to Olama using the Mistral model and enforces the defined schema on the AI's output using Zod to JSON schema. A temperature of zero is used for deterministic responses. Successful responses return the structured country list in JSON format. Essentially, it's a structured way to get AI-generated country data. The Olama chat system processes user messages through the chat interface sending them via Next.js API routes to the Olama backend for AI model processing using Llama 3.2 or Mistral. 
After receiving structured JSON responses, these are passed to a chart component that transforms the data into visual representations using chart.js library. The Next.js application structure integrates Olima Chat and Chart Visualization in a three-tier architecture. App folder contains the main user interface and chart components. API folder handles API call to Olima model interactions and data processing and components folder reusable UI elements like chat interfaces and chart renderers for the build and run process. First install dependencies with npm install, then run the development server using npm run dev for local development. The application communicates with Olama's backend service, which must be running locally. Let's run this app and test it in the chat interface with the following prompt. List the top five countries with the largest GDP. As observed, Olama is returning the request, list the top five countries with the largest GDP in a structured JSON format according to the defined schema. Additionally, the UI is displaying a list of countries along with a chart on the dashboard. Let's ask another prompt. List the top five countries with the highest education rankings and observe how the model responds. As you can see, Olama returns the query, list the top five countries with the highest education rankings in a structured JSON format based on the defined schema. Additionally, the UI displays a list of countries and a chart on the dashboard. Let's review the vision route that will utilize the Llama 3.2 vision model to process images. The vision route is an API endpoint that processes invoice images using Olama's vision capabilities. It uses Zod for data validation and schema definition, defining a structured schema for invoice data, including vendor details, customer information, line items, and financial totals. When an image is uploaded, the endpoint receives it via form data, converts it to base64 format, and sends it to Olama's vision model. The API uses the Zod2JSON schema function to convert the Zod schema into a JSON schema format that Olama understands, ensuring the model returns data in the expected structure. The temperature is set to zero for consistent results. The route handles both successful responses, returning structured invoice data, and errors, returning appropriate error messages making it easy to integrate with front-end components that need to display invoice information. The invoice processing system includes three main components, invoice upload, invoice table, and invoice chart. The invoice upload component allows users to upload invoice images, which are then converted into structured data through the Vision API. The invoice table displays this data in a hierarchical format using material UI tables, showing invoice details and line item breakdowns. The invoice chart provides a visual representation of the financial data in a bar chart using chart.js. All components share a consistent design through material UI and feature error handling and loading states for a smooth user experience. The components communicate via props to synchronize the displayed information. Let's run the vision interface Test it by uploading an invoice and evaluate its performance. As shown, the original invoice document is on the left for reference, with a detailed breakdown of the extracted information displayed in tables on the right, including invoice details, such as invoice number, dates, and parties involved, along with line items. Additionally, a clear bar chart in the bottom right visually represents the financial breakdown of each item. As shown, combining Olama's structured output capabilities with both text and vision models provides a versatile foundation for building powerful APIs. This approach can be extended to build specialized APIs for industries like financial document processing, legal document analysis, medical record parsing, or academic research synthesis. The local processing capability ensures secure handling of sensitive documents, while the open source nature allows model fine-tuning to improve accuracy 
for specific use cases. Adding text extraction creates multimodal APIs that can handle OCR, structured data extraction, and natural language processing in one endpoint, making it ideal for comprehensive document processing solutions. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.